Hi everybody, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. Let's take a look at our week ahead for August 2nd. I'm going to shuffle up the cards and we'll be back and get started. Okay, so what are the energies for this week ahead? In the news this week, we have the Ten of Swords, a card of endings, a card of finality, something coming to an end. It also heralds the dawn of something new coming in as well. So with every ending is also a new beginning. I'm just getting a lot of energy on something coming to an end, something being over. There's pieces that brought all of their individual pieces to whatever this is into a great finale and now it can move and morph into something new. So whatever this ending is, it may have to do with Arizona. That's just a guess right now. But it's like everything is coming together to bring this big finale, this big ending. But then there's like a pause. It's like there's something that's ready to go, something new after this ending. But there's a pause, a little bit of a a waiting period or a pause very pregnant pause so to speak but it's a pause okay in the political realm we have the high priest card coming out now generally this card is about conformity bringing sides under control of the group and group mindset and group conformity my guess it'll be the usual two sides bickering, at least in the United States. Uh, that's what I see with that. Just trying, there's like a central figure that is trying to assert control and dominance. Coming from one side of the aisle, but trying to control and dominate the landscape in the political area. And it's, I think it's going to cause a lot of tension. Now, I pulled a card for international news, because I just sensed there might be something there, and I pulled the judgment card on that. Now, that's also a card of kind of endings and finality, and I don't know if maybe it signals an event or something coming to an end there as well. Okay, um, I'm hoping that I'm getting this I never like to forecast doom and gloom, but I'm really sensing there could be an event that perhaps causes um, loss of life. You know, it could be like a natural disaster, perhaps something to do with water, but I get the sense of people's like not ready to go, like don't, they don't want to go, they don't, it's, they don't want to die. Um, so there could be something that I think might have to do with water, but I'm just sensing a resistance, like I don't want to die, I don't want to go. Um, so perhaps people are, you know, if there's like, I know they've been having floods and things around the world. I don't know if that's what this is, like more flooding or a tsunami or something like that possibly, but it's like carry, carrying people away and they're caught off guard but not ready don't want to go okay on the position of what we see heading our way we've got the ace of swords on this a card of new beginnings in along mental lines creativity communications I see a lot of communication happening this week but also a lot to try to distort through campaigns like media disinformation campaigns trying to steer the narrative um, maybe gaslighting people telling them that what they see isn't really the truth here's what the truth is but it's all kind of confusing a little bit of a mess I sense with it and there's a specific agenda behind much of the talk that we'll be hearing across media, social media, and the like. I feel like there's some good news that's stirring behind the scenes that people are trying to, that are maybe 
it's, it feels like people are starting to talk about it, like something that is coming that's good, and there's a concerted effort to try to keep that under wraps or not let that information get out. It's like a closely guarded secret, but it's already out. And there's people trying to do damage control, trying to keep a lid on this information. But it feels like it's good. It benefits people, whatever this information is that needs to get out. And it might have to do with a leadership, a person in charge, but there's an announcement coming. There's an announcement coming regarding a leader. And it's gonna have, it's gonna be in the rumor stage at the beginning, so it's not, it's like, I've heard this announcement's coming, it's, it's coming, you know, we, something like that. So people know something good is on its way and it feels like efforts to control whatever this news is that somebody else doesn't want out is gonna, it's not enough, okay? Cause it's all, it's like once, once a rumor starts, it's kind of starts like wildfire and you can't sometimes catch up with it. And so any attempt to try to rein in the gossip that that some good news is coming isn't going to be um, effective. It's it's still going to get out and it's going to cause quite a bit of a stir, I imagine. Okay, I'm getting kind of an emotional feeling with this. I'm not sure what this is exactly, but I get the sense of something that is being concealed or hidden and it's getting ready to turn and face directly squarely where it needs to face it's like the feeling you get with the sunrise and perhaps just as a little metaphor here the night wants to hang on to the night but when the sun comes up and starts to shine there's nothing the night can do. It's like there's there's nothing the night can do and it has to disperse while the sun is coming into into fruition, into fullness of light. Okay. That's the feeling I get with it. And I guess again, I wish I wish I knew exactly what this was, but it's it's the sense I get, the feeling I get with it that there's something about to come around and we're not it's not there yet. But that's what the rumor mill, I think, is about. The rumor mill is saying something's coming and it's good and kind of be ready. And the, the those that want to hang on to the way things are or not allow that are scrambling to try to keep a lid on things. Okay, next question is, what is the truth this week that we will be faced with? Well, this is interesting, especially in light of what I was just sharing. We have the Nine of Cups. This is an extremely positive card about your wish being granted. So there, I think there is something that is percolating behind the scenes that's coming out. And right now, like I said, it's in the rumor stage. But this is the truth is that the wish card is here. So something good is coming. That's, that's all I can say with that. Now we have this card on the next question that is what is the hidden, the hidden influence? And we have the Six of Cups, a card of innocence, a card of the past, nostalgia. It's generally a very positive and sweet influence and that's the hidden. So perhaps there's some, along with whatever this good thing that is working behind the scenes, I think that's a piece of it that's happening. The lesson that we're learning this week is the King of Swords. This is a card of strength and truth. So with this card, I'm focused in behind this king as he's sitting down. He has that little butterfly, I don't know if you can see it, behind his head there. And so I think that butterfly represents something like a good news coming, like I was talking about. Um, however, the king is facing forward with his sword drawn, still vigilant. 
So I think the lesson is to not, not get caught up in rumors, but to stay vigilant and to keep working at what we're working on, to not get distracted by rumors, okay? Until things come out and the sun comes out and things turn, until then, stay vigilant and don't let your guard down. What gives us hope this week? We have the Queen of Pentacles on that. This queen is very grounded. She's very centered. And if that's what gives us hope this week, to stand in our power, to be centered, to be grounded, very solid is this queen in her values and what she stands for. She doesn't back down. She sticks to her guns, so to speak. Okay, what we need to know and for the outcome this week is that inaction is about to give way to taking action. Things are about to start happening. It's going to start in the rumor mill first. So things may not be completely airtight in terms of the truth because things are kind of fluid and rumors aren't always about the truth. So. That's why stay vigilant, don't get caught up in rumors, but just know that something is happening and coming our way. And it feels like a good thing, so let's hope it is. All right, thanks everybody. This has been our week ahead. We'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge. Bye for now.